Uh, I apologize if my hair doesn't look just right. I had to do some endurance race a few minutes ago. No big deal. Passion is the essence of our product. It's designed and built to convey and bring about adrenaline pumping emotions that will last a lifetime and allow everyone to pursue their motorsports dreams. Evening everyone, my name is Andrew Raines. I'm the marketing director for the Auburn Formula SA racing team. This is our chief technical officer, Jimmy Gordon. Hey folks. Yeah. Over the course of the next few minutes, we will discuss uh, our target market, the target market that we have chosen to sell our product to, a brief technical overview of our product, our comprehensive marketing strategy, how we plan to build this vehicle and our manufacturing uh, plan, as well as the financial plan. So first, let's dive right in and discuss the target market. Working with an independent market research firm, we have identified two key demographics in which to sell AU2013, our product. First, you have the young motorsport enthusiast. Your average young motorsport enthusiast is between the ages of 15 and 25 years old, is passion driven and competitive, has parents of high net worth, and may or may not have some karting or racing experience. Then you have your weekend warrior. This is your typical SCCA weekend autocrosser. An average income of about $125,000 a year means that he has a little bit of extra money to spend on a fun project and uh, just enjoys racing in general. So, what do these market, markets need? Working with our firm, we found these six points. Price, competitiveness, reliability, safety, ease of maintenance, and modification and tunability. We polled these two demographics on these six key points and uh, that came back with some very uh, interesting information. As you can see here, the Young Motorsports enthusiast is very uh, intent on the competitiveness of the product as well as the safety because their parents would be the one that would be buying this machine. On the contrary, the Weekend Warrior really wants a reliable product and something that he can afford, but they also both emphasize ease of maintenance and modification and tunability. The great thing about AU2013 is it not only meets the needs of both of these markets, but it exceeds them. AU2013 also provides the opportunity for a great stepping stone from drivers going from karting to professional racing, offering a budget that's in between, and autocross, obviously you don't have barriers and things to run into on a road course, so it's a little bit safer. Now, for the overview of our product, let me reintroduce Jimmy Gordon. Jimmy. Thank you, Andrew. All right, so Andrew just told you what our market is looking for, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to provide that. So our key goals here are safety, ease of modification, reliability, and also price. For safety, AU 2013 takes a unique approach using a semi-monocoque or semi-monocoque chassis using a front monocoque and a rear space tube frame. So our front carbon fiber monocoque allows for increased safety through increased side impact intrusion protection as well as optimized frontal distribution of impact loads in the event of a front end collision. This hybrid chassis also allows for ease of modification and a level of flexibility that's unmatched in our market. With simple head tools, the rear tube frame can be separated from the front carbon monocoque and a variety of engines can be made to fit in the rear frame to suit the wants and preferences of the end user. Another key factor we wanted to incorporate into AU2013 was reliability. And through extensive use of fatigue life analysis and FEA, we were able to design a reliability from the start. In fact, AU2013 is able to compete in autocross events four times a month for a lifespan of 10 years, performing consistently and reliably the entirety of its lifespan. Another key concern is price, and AU2013 has undergone an efficient design process that not only ensures that it's efficiently packaged and lightweight, but it's also economical to produce and economical to maintain. All of these features are validated through our real-world testing. 17 years of racing experience has given us an extensive base of knowledge in both data acquisition and extensive comprehensive testing strategies to ensure that we create a reliable and fast race car for the end user. Now, Andrew, would you like the honors? Very much so, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, enter AU 2013.
ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is quite an incredible product. So AU2013 utilizes 85 brake horsepower to propel its 442 pound frame to 0 to 60 in just over 3 seconds. She can also withstand a lateral load of 1.5 lateral Gs, which is uh, far exceeding the needs of performance in our target markets. So now, once you buy your AU2013, what happens? Well, you're assisted by our hardworking staff, and our Auburn Race Ready package and our unique customer support system allows you access to online bulletins, which you can check and which are updated regularly by our engineers, such as Jimmy here, and then our newly developed mobile app, which Jimmy will demonstrate now. This allows our customers access to, uh, to their mobile device and our technical bulletins at their fingertips, even at the racetrack, to give you that edge against your competitors in this highly competitive FSAE class. We've been doing this for a while, as Jimmy mentioned, 17 years, so we offer personal one-on-one -on -one driver coaching to help you get the most out of your car. Our warranty plan is very unique and is discussed in the handout that we passed out earlier. Our factory maintenance program is developed for our higher-end customers and allows your car to be pre prepped for you for each event so that it's uh, performing to the best of its ability. And then our delivery options. You can have the car delivered to your door or actually come and tour the facility and pick it up yourself. So, how are we going to substantiate AU2013 and make this a long-term investment for you, the investor, to continue putting money into your pocket? We've discussed our target market, we've overviewed the product a little bit, so now let's discuss our comprehensive marketing strategy. First and foremost, we have the social media campaign. We'll utilize Facebook, Twitter, and other modern forms of social media to directly interact with the buyer. This is mainly focused towards the young motorsport enthusiasts, and we've actually proven sales through social media with AU2011 and AU2012. Next, we have the mixed media campaign, utilizing magazines such as SCCA Sports Car, as well as our YouTube page, other print media, and our website, auracing.org. This allows our uh, customers, especially those of a uh, higher age from the Weekend Warrior Market, as I mentioned earlier, access to media pretty much whenever and, and wherever they want. The first part of our direct marketing program is our on-site promotion static displays. We will pr present our car to those uh, people uh, appearing at um, professional racing events, charity auctions, uh, any other things like a relevant trade show to the racing industry where we can directly interact with customers. But the crux of our direct marketing program, we discussed earlier, there's a lot of options there. That's something we can talk about after this presentation if you'd like. Moving on to the assembly area, this is where our products will be hand assembled on these build tables. Uh, and then you can see the machine shop in the northern part of the facility, as well as the dyno and final testing facility, which is essential to providing the customer a turnkey race car. Then we finally have our composites work area. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this has an environmentally conscious construction, and we plan through current partners to utilize solar energy to take advantage of government tax incentives, as well as uh, to promote our green image so that those environmentally conscious racers, wherever they may be, um, may be satisfied with our product as well. So, now, how do we put money into your pocket? Let's discuss the financials. As you can see, the initial investment is fairly low, fairly low $1.92 million, and the cost per car is only $17,500. Uh, after doing extensive market research, we were able to validate a sales price of $26,499, which allows both of our target demographics to afford this product. As you can see, uh, your investment will be allocated to this pie chart. That's also in your handout on page 7 if you'd like to reference that as well. Now, observing a simple cash flow analysis, you can see by mid-2015, every cent that you have put into this project will be back in your pocket, and the profits curve goes up linearly through $4.5 million till the production of AU2013 tapers off around 2018. So now our vehicle sales. We've been producing since 2010. As you can see, we've reached productive capacity around 2013, but with your stipend and your investment, can produce the optimal unit of output, 100 units a year, to uh, bring the most money back to, uh, to our, our company. Now, the facts, ROI, that's, the number, that's what you want to hear about. 36% by 2018, total profit soaring past uh, $4.5 million by 2018. That's pretty impressive. Remember, payback period of only two and a half years. You get your money back quick. So, to summarize on what we discussed this afternoon, we've identified two target markets, the young motorsport enthusiast and the weekend warrior. We've discussed how our powertrain adaptability model and the other unique designs of AU2013 uh, allow our customer to have the car that fits their budget as well as their driving style, being able to choose between different uh, FSA spec powertrains. Also, our comprehensive marketing strategy and the factory racing team substantiates this product and make this a long-term strategic investment for you as the investor and puts money into your pocket not only five to ten years down the road, but further than that because we now have the capital to go even further. Now, finally, a great return on the investment. That's what we're here for. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for, the time, for your time. I expect to uh, send out a couple of emails in the next few weeks and we'll establish our next meeting time. We'd also like to invite you all to our sponsor drive day at the end of the summer where you can actually uh, get the seat of your pants feeling from driving our car. If that doesn't make you want to buy it, I don't know what does. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.